When we began these audiences, the goal was to describe the sacrifice of the Mass in order to understand better what will be going on at my ordination Mass, Mass of Thanksgiving. To do so first required a look at the history of the world in its relation to God, for Christianity is fundamentally linked to real events in our past, present, and future. In fact, it measures all of time around its most important event, the mystery of Jesus Christ, God made man. These past few audiences have been a brief reflection on the mystery of Jesus Christ, his incarnation, life, passion, death, resurrection, ascension, and coming again in glory. So much can be said, and I have as yet done so little. As we now move for the rest of this year of meditations into the main topic of the sacrifice of the Mass, we will not be leaving Christ behind. All that we have discussed to this point is for the purpose of understanding what the celebration of the Eucharist is all about. The Mass is intimately connected with the mystery of Jesus. The relationship between the two is not so much that the mystery of Christ is needed to explain the Mass, or that the Mass is needed to explain the mystery of Christ. While this is true, there is a more important way to see their relationship. The mystery of Christ and the Mass are actually the same reality. We do not use them to explain each other as though they were separate things. No, together they form one reality, really the only reality. The hope is that this will be made clear in the next several months. Perhaps there have been times in these previous audiences where the ideas seemed to have been rather abstract. Perhaps you wish it were more concrete, something you can see, can sense. This is a natural desire for us who are both physical and spiritual beings. Such is the beauty of the whole of the Catholic faith, especially the Mass. It is incarnational to its core, for its core is the incarnate Christ. It is through concrete things in the world that our hearts and minds are raised up to comprehend the mysteries that we cannot directly see. The visible shows forth the invisible mystery of God. That is what incarnational means. That is what sacramental means in its broadest sense. To aid our senses, I have been using images from four churches, St. Cecilia Cathedral in Omaha, and Saints Peter and Paul in Howells, Saints John Nepomucene in Howells, and Holy Trinity in Hine, my home parishes. Such images should help us even more as we begin to describe the Mass. Next time, we will approach these structures of worship.